The Pursuit Channel done goofed again this week. They aired a repeat of last week's episode of Impact Wrestling instead of the new episode that was submitted to them. Impact did show the correct episode on their Twitch channel, and as a make good, they have announced that due to Pursuit's screw-up, They've made this week's episode available for free through their Impact Plus service. And this whole thing to me is just very sad. You know, it's something that Impact has no control over. It's not their fault. But it's just sad to see how little their own network, how little Pursuit actually thinks of them. A channel that is partly owned by Anthem, the same company that owns Impact, has a, has a stake in the Pursuit network. And this follows what happened about a month or so ago when Impact went to commercial break at the start of one of their main events and they never came back. The network just aired 30 minutes of commercials and went right into the next show. That is quite the Mickey Mouse operation that they've got over there at Pursuit. Not surprising, I guess, for a channel that airs such quality programming as Carnivore TV and just Killin' Time TV. Yes, they have a show that is literally called Just Killin' Time. Apparently, uh, I guess the mentality here, I guess, with Impact is that they're just sort of renting out space until they can move into a nicer house. But there's no takers for Impact. There's no, whatever negotiations may or may not have been happening, or may currently be happening, there's no word that they are any closer now than they were two or three months ago to moving to a bigger, better channel. So they're probably not going anywhere for a while. And it's amazing to think back, this company has been around now. It's it's not quite 20 years, but we're closing in soon enough on 20 years since the birth of Impact Wrestling going back to the days of NWA TNA. They've been through many incarnations since then, NWA TNA, TNA Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, and... Wasn't it uh, Global Force, uh, Total Impact, Nonstop, Shit, whatever the name was. We used to joke about nobody even knew what the name of the company was. So now it's Impact Wrestling. But you look back at the history of this company and just the opportunities over the years that have been squandered long before this new regime took over. You know, Don Callis and Scott Demore and all of them. Long, this predates them by many, many years. But all of the opportunities that were squandered back when they were on uh, Spike TV. Now, Spike may not have the kind of uh, audience reach that a USA has or a TNT, but, you know, Spike, now it's the Paramount uh, Network. It's a pretty big channel. You know, WWE moved there for many years. And they had a shot. They had a real opportunity of being a real alternative uh, to WWE and trying to grow and expand their audience. And they squandered it for various reasons. And now they are paying a price for those mistakes. And you got to think to them, it's got to be frustrating to see a, a brand new company sprout up like All Elite Wrestling and right out of the gate score a television deal with a network like TNT. Meanwhile, they're playing second fiddle to Salmon Showdown, 